Hey guys, welcome back to Shop Life. I'm about to pull in this red E46. It's actually in here for vibrations from the center support bearing. Uh, I actually worked on this car before. I did the flex joint. I did the center support bearing as well before. So not sure exactly what went wrong, but I'm guessing it's just a manufacturing defect on the center support bearing. But like I tell all my customers, I try to buy all good quality stuff. So even if that center support bearing did go wrong, uh, since I know I bought the part itself, I know it was supposed to be good. The brand was also a reputable brand, so I'm pretty sure it was just a manufacturing defect. But like I said in a lot of my other videos, I stand behind my work and all the parts that I use are always reputable, so they always come with a good warranty as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this in, uh, pull off the drive shaft, and see exactly what's going on. I already ordered another center support bearing uh, under the warranty. So after I finish up this red E46, uh, the customer needs the car back as soon as possible. So as soon as that's done, I'll go ahead and start working on the E60 M5 and get those throttle actuators replaced. Man, this makes me want a red car so bad. Very, very bad. Looks so good. We'll get a red M3. Oh. We better. I'm just gonna paint my car, the E30. The one right there, it's gonna be red. All right, so I got the center support bearing replaced on here. Everything else is buttoned back up. Just got a few oil leaks, and he needs engine mounts, the whole rear subframe, all the mounts on there, trailing arm bushings, a lot of stuff needs to be replaced. But for now, just that center support bearing, since it did vibrate uh, between you know, 2,000 and up RPM. But yep. Yeah, all done, let me go ahead and pull this out now and get on the E60 M5, do those throttle actuators on there. So I just pulled this E60 M5 in, already started tearing it apart. Uh, we're changing both throttle actuators. So there's 10 individual throttle bodies on here. Each bank has its own actuator uh, to move the whole throttle linkage up and down, depending on how much you know your throttle input or whatever. So usually what happens is the gears inside those throttle actuators strip, and usually it's just gonna be one that goes bad, but when that one goes bad, it's almost always uh, that the second one goes bad soon after. So even if you only get codes for one, your best bet is to replace both, uh, or at least get them rebuilt. The rebuilt ones, uh, if your electronic part of the throttle actuator is bad, then there's not much you can do. But the throttle actuators, they're not that cheap either. They're about 600 something uh, for each one. So we're gonna go ahead and replace both of these. Uh, what you have to do, you have to pull off almost all the front accessories, like the air boxes, the manifolds right here, and also you wanna take off some of the wiring loom underneath. I'm surprised it didn't melt. Huh? I'm surprised. All right, so I didn't really explain the clip with the plastic Tupperware container underneath the 530i. Uh, the owner actually put that there to catch any of the excess hydraulic fluid since he uh, rigged up a way to refill the hydraulic fluid for the SMG pump without having to you know, go underneath the car and do all that. So he just had a hose running from that reservoir that was sealed up pretty good, running to the top into the engine bay so you can just refill it from there. And uh, whenever he overfills it or if he fills it up a little too much, it'll start dripping off the side. And that's the whole point of that Tupperware container was to catch any of that. Uh, just, I mean, it was just to keep it clean, but it did work out pretty well. I was surprised it didn't melt. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but you know, he was just doing that temporarily. He doesn't really drive his car much until he was gonna get that fixed. And his shop is literally like about half a mile away. So, it, you know, it didn't even warm up that much before I got to it. But anyways, let's continue on with the video. All right, so here is the E60 530i. This is a SMG. This is the one, if you remember, I had uh, went to one of my uh, neighbor's place. Well, not his place, but he had broken down on the street uh, because the car wasn't going to gear. This is the one. We're changing the gear position sensor on here. But uh, for right now, it's gone on the lift to see how easy it is, how hard it's going to be to access it. And it's going to be pretty difficult. So I'm going to finish up this M5, 
and finish up E46 back there. Then we'll get on this one. So let's get to work. Yep. He's changing the throttle actuators. Only one is bad, but we're changing both because if one is bad, pretty soon the second one's going bad too. Hey everyone, welcome back to Shop Life. So today, uh, we're gonna begin the day, it's Saturday, we're gonna begin the day by uh, cleaning out the shop. Uh, we're trying to do some uh, new like little, put up some pegboards and uh, move some things around just to make it a little bit, look a little bit more cleaner and organized. So let me go ahead and show you. So as you saw, we already cleared out all this space. We cleaned it up, painted it. Um, it took me a long time to paint it, but I did. Um, here are the pegboards that we bought. We're gonna put it on here, so we're gonna move all this hey. stuff. What? Oh yeah, we're gonna push this car out over here so that we're able to move those cabinets that are in the back. Um, but yeah. So I'm finishing up this E46, I already had taken it apart, doing a full cooling system, every single hose, everything related to the cooling system, including the radiator, all that's being replaced, and also the CCV kit, all the intake boots, vacuum lines, all that stuff. Changing it all. Yep, and now we moved everything from the white cabinet that's back there, so it's ready to move to the front. All right, here's progress. Move them over here now to clear out all this so we can place them right there. All right, so we're just going to end the video here. Uh, as you saw, I got a lot of work done, but obviously, I didn't record everything. Uh, I had other jobs that were in between, you know, diagnosis and other work that I had to get done. So, I try to record as much as I can whenever we get a chance, especially when she's behind the camera. It's a lot easier. Uh, as you can see, I really don't record myself doing much work because. Whenever I'm out here, I'm trying to get stuff done so I can move on to the next customer. Lately, we've been staying booked up almost, we're right now we're looking about a month to month and a half out, which, I mean, it's crazy to think that, you know, it's that crazy. Uh, but we're staying booked up and uh, I try to get appointments for at least all these big jobs. I try to have a schedule for that. And, you know, I try to squeeze in little jobs in between as much as I can. But anyways, you guys can see that we also got this wall done. Uh, she actually did most of it, so that was her project like the whole painting everything and doing all that but we got it done we still have to get those drawer slides and do all that but hopefully all that will be done and as soon as we get the shop looking the way we want it we are going to have a meet uh where we'll post a couple weeks in advance so if anybody that's out of the state uh even in the state that's a little further away if anybody wants to come by there'll be like a whole get together probably like on a sunday afternoon or something but we'll figure all the details out and that's going to be fun so make sure you guys stay tuned for that go subscribe to all of our social media we'll be posting it on everything all right so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure you go subscribe to my main channel shop life tv her main channel at bmw selena for her ls3 swap we actually have been making a lot of progress on that as well after hours and i think i'm going to take some time uh in the following week to actually dedicate some time to finishing that car up and at least get it running and driving 
So that way, all the little stuff, we can do that without it taking up the lift. But thanks everybody.